Hello everyone. I hope you are fine and safe at your homes. Welcome to the Faculty Development Program on Empowerment through Digital Technology brought to you by Ascendant Women's University Mumbai Dr. Ambedkar Chair. Today we are going to learn how to make a mind map. On your Google search engine type mind master software. This is the URL. Click on it. This page will appear in front of you. Click on download link 1. This is the file name. You can save it over here. Click on the save button. On your desktop, you can see the icon of the software mind master. So this is the software. open as a new file so click on the option which says new there are many options click on any template what you can see in front of you is the central idea now the entire mind map will form around this central or main idea whatever you like to call it so whatever you are making it will be surrounding this so this is the center So here I have given a center topic that is the use of ICT. Now my entire mind map will revolve around this topic. This is your central idea. This is the main topic, the one I have highlighted. So here we can see an example of the same. you can see an icon which which shows the subtraction or minus sign when you click on the minus sign or the icon which you can see on your screens all these siblings now you can see these branches that are coming out of the central idea these are actually called the siblings so when you click on the minus sign all the siblings will disappear on the contrary when you click on the plus icon all the siblings will reappear the plus in square is for adding a sibling or adding a branch to it add the sibling as main topic you can add a sub topic when you click on the plus sign a sub topic is created This is an example of a subtopic. If you want any changes, select the object first. Then the format toolbox appears in front of you. Now let's proceed. Here you can see we have the toolbox. When you click on the format icon, this window will appear. when you click on it it makes changes to your mind map accordingly so you can choose various designs uh, that that are over there and you can and you can see changes immediately in your mind map so when you click on it the following design will be shown and your mind map will change according So now I'll show you yet another example. So when you click on this template or design, you can see various options. So whatever you click on, it will be implemented immediately on your mind map. So you can see changes immediately. The next thing we are going to learn is is how to add colors. So click on the color icon. You can see various colors in front of you. Choose any color that you like and you can see that the color will appear on your mind map. The selected main subject changes according to the selected background color. So this is your background color. 
when you click on a shape you can give the central idea a shape so you have it on your display on the right hand side you can see various shapes there is a rectangle there are circles ovals stars and what not so click on it and you can see so now we are going to learn how to color the outline or give it a outline color so click on the icon shown on your screens again you can see different colors in front of you when you select the color will be implemented on your mind map you can see the changes on your mind map so here you can see we can color the branch we can choose a color and we can make the changes now we are using different fonts so you can change the font and there are various options in front of you so i have chosen tahoma in the size 14 and you can explore around it and the changes can be immediately seen on your screen you can also change the font color one more interesting thing is that you can add a picture so i've added a picture and it is it got immediately pasted on my mind map you can resize it according to your need so we can also add a hyperlink click on the icon shown to you on your screens you can see this box in front of you on the object you can hyperlink websites to the object so i am on the wikipedia page i am going to copy the url and paste it and paste it in the address box You can hyperlink any website including YouTube. You can add attachments. So for that you have to click on attachment and you can attach any file with this object. So here you can see the window you you can browse your files and you can attach them. Now the next option we have is note so you can add a note this window appears in front of you you can write a note for your students whatever you want them to note now here we can see there are various marks or tiny icons which you can add according to your needs click on the mark option this appears in front of you select any icon and paste it on your object now the next option is relationships so you can show relations in between the various siblings or the topics that you can see in front of you so this line appears showing that there's a relation between virtual classroom and e learning so that's how it comes together the next thing is sharing so you can make a link you can copy it and you can share it with your friends and students for that you'll have to click on the share icon this window will appear you can share this map on any social media twitter facebook pinterest and so on then you can copy this url and share it click on the export icon then select pdf and save it to your folder thank you i hope you have a nice day take care